Welcome back to the deep dive. Today, we're uh, shining a light on something absolutely critical in our homes, but often unseen, electrical safety. Mm -hmm. Specifically, we're diving into the tech behind Freemur. You probably know them as residual current devices or RCDs. That's right. And we'll be talking about electrical leakage or tone. <laughs> We've looked through a lot of material expert notes to really give you a clear picture of these protectors. And it's so important. You know, estimates suggest these RCDs prevent, well, tens of thousands of fires, hundreds of electrocutions worldwide every year. Wow, that's that's a huge impact. It really is. And what's fascinating, like you said, is how this small box, often just tucked away, is so vital, but we hardly ever notice it. An unsung hero, definitely. Absolutely. And understanding just the basics is, well, it's fundamental for protecting property and, more importantly, protecting lives. Okay, so that statistic really sets the stage. Now, most people think of, you know, circuit breakers tripping from overload. Right. Too many appliances on at once, that sort of thing. Exactly. But the sources suggest this joiny operates differently. It's all about this yeah, electric leakage. So uh, how do we describe that for someone maybe new to this? OK, well, think of your home's electricity like like a closed system, a circuit. Mm -hmm. In a healthy circuit, the amount of electrical current flowing in to something, say, your toaster, okay. should be exactly the same as the current flowing out of it. It has to return. It's balanced. A perfect loop. Precisely. Now, the key idea here is if those two currents, the in and the out, are not the same. If there's a difference, that's what the voucher is looking for. That's voucher. Right. That imbalance. It sounds straightforward, but still a bit mm -hmm. abstract. Is there a way to visualize it better? Yeah, there is. And the sources have a really great analogy. Think about water pipes. OK, water pipes. You can picture that. Imagine water flowing from the tap through a pipe and out the other end. Normally, all the water going in comes out, right? Makes sense. 10 liters in, 10 liters out. Exactly. But what if there's a little crack, a tiny hole somewhere in that pipe? Ah, OK. Some water would leak out. Right. We call that a water leak. So if your 10 liters go in, but you only measure nine coming out. Then one liter leaked somewhere. Got it. Perfect. That missing liter is exactly like the missing electricity. OK. That clicks. That's a really helpful way to think about it. And that's the direct parallel. An electrical circuit is supposed to be that closed loop, just like the pipe. Input current and output current should always be equal. Mm -hmm. But if the current somehow deviates, maybe the wire insulation is damaged or there's a fault inside an appliance, maybe even just moisture creating a path. It finds another way out. Exactly. It's leaking out just like the water. That's what we call electric leakage. And the current itself, that's escaping. That's a leakage current. So it's all about the paths, integrity, water or electricity. Any leak is a problem. That's the core concept the Jaja is built around detecting. Any deviation, mm. any leak. Okay, so we get what it is now current going rogue. Yeah. But what causes these leaks in the first place? And, you know, why should we really be worried? What are the actual risks? Well, the causes are pretty varied. A really common one is damage to the insulation around the wires. Think of insulation like the wall of the pipe. Right, keeping it contained. Exactly. Over time, it can get old, brittle, cracked, maybe pests chew on it, or it gets nicked during some DIY work. Ah, uh, okay. If that insulation is compromised, electricity can definitely find another path. Another big cause is moisture or high humidity. Water conducts electricity, so it can create unintended pathway. Like near a window or in a bathroom. Precisely. Or even just condensation building up inside things. And sometimes it's just old or faulty appliances developing internal leaks. So it can be quite subtle. Not always a big dramatic failure. That feels... Yeah. Yeah, a bit concerning. The sources definitely highlight the dangers. What are we talking about, hazard-wise? Well, there are a few levels. First, your devices. Leakage can cause malfunctions, maybe even permanent damage to expensive electronics. Right. Then there's the fire risk. This is really serious. Current flowing where it shouldn't generates heat. If it's going through something flammable. Like wood framing or insulation. Exactly. It can start a fire. And it might not be immediate sparks. It could be a slow smolder that builds up. And the really scary part, as you said earlier, the risk to people. Yes. That's the most critical danger. Electric shock. Even a small leakage current, if it passes through a person's body, can be fatal. And you might not even see it coming. That's the insidious part. Unlike a short circuit that might cause sparks or trip a normal breaker immediately, a leak might be invisible until someone touches the wrong thing at the wrong time. Wow. The human body is unfortunately a fairly good conductor. If you accidentally become part of that unintended path, the results can be devastating. It really underlines why proper protection isn't just a nice to have, it's essential. 
Okay, that's uh, yeah, the very sobering reminder. So we know what a J is. We know why it's dangerous. Let's talk solutions. How does this clever device, the Jugati or RCD, actually work? How does it stop this? Right, the good news. Its operation is uh, actually quite elegant in its simplicity. As we said, normally input and output currents are equal. Balance. The RCD is constantly monitoring both all the time. As long as they match, it does nothing, just lets the power flow. Okay. But the instant Sean happens, the moment there's a leak, that balance is broken. The input and output currents are suddenly different. Even by a tiny amount. Yes, even a very small difference. The RCD is designed to be incredibly sensitive to this imbalance. It detects it, recognizes, it signifies a cha, and then it acts fast, extremely fast. It cuts off the power to that circuit almost instantly. We're talking milliseconds. Millisecond, that's hard to even imagine. It's crucial. That speed is what prevents serious harm or fire. It stops the current before it can do major damage. So it's not just sitting there waiting for a big problem. It's actively watching, constantly comparing. That's it, exactly. And the second it sees that leak, that imbalance, boom, it slams the gate shut on the electricity for that circuit, mm -hmm. preventing fires, preventing shocks. That's a great way to visualize it. And a super fast gatekeeper, mm -hmm. what's really amazing is the precision and that speed. It's not like a regular circuit breaker waiting for an overload. Right, which might take longer or need a bigger fault. Exactly. The RCD is looking for that subtle, dangerous leak and responding almost instantaneously. It's protecting lives and property by stopping the problem before it escalates. It's like an early warning and rapid response combined. Truly remarkable technology. Okay. So it's vital protection, but it's easy to just assume it's there and working. Mm -hmm. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. So besides just having one installed, what can we do? How do we make sure our systems are safe? And crucially, how do we know our RCD is actually ready to do its job? Good questions. Well, on the prevention side, while checking insulation integrity is tricky for homeowners, basic visual checks help. Look for obviously damaged cords, cracked outlets. Red flags. Definitely red flags. Get ah. these fixed. And fundamentally, make sure you have RCDs installed, especially in critical areas, <laughs> kitchens, bathrooms, outdoors, anywhere with water. The source is really stressed that a properly installed RCD is your best line of defense because it acts so quickly when a leak does happen. Okay, and that brings us to something really practical from the source material, something anyone can do, the test button. Ah, yes, the test button, crucial. I've seen those. Little button often says test or just has a T right on the RCD itself. The sources say this is specifically to check it. How does that work? It's incredibly simple, thankfully. You just need to push that button firmly. All right. When you press it, the RCD internally simulates a small leakage current. It basically tricks itself into thinking there's a leak. Ah, clever. Very. And if the RCD is working properly, the switch or handle on it should immediately flip to the OFF position. You'll hear a click, and the power to whatever that circuit controls will go out. So pressing the button should cut the power. Exactly. That confirms the internal mechanism is working, and it will trip correctly if a real leak happens. And if you press it, yeah. and nothing happens, the switch doesn't flip. That's a bad sign. That means it's likely faulty and won't protect you you absolutely need to call a qualified electrician to check it out and likely replace it. Okay, that's super important. So simple, but potentially life-saving. It really is. It's a built-in diagnostic you can use yourself. We strongly encourage you, everyone listening, do this test maybe once a month or every few months. Big seconds. Just seconds. And it gives you that peace of mind. It's about, you know, empowering yourself to take an active role in your own safety, not just hoping for the best. You get to verify your silent guardian is awake and ready. That is a fantastic practical piece of advice yeah so we've really unpacked co electrical leakage understood the risks fire shock and seen how the amazing kaye the rcd mm -hmm. steps in plus we know how to test it mm -hmm. it shows how even these complex hidden systems can be understood and managed it does and you know it raises an interesting question doesn't it how many other small everyday things in our homes are quietly working behind the scenes to keep us safe what else could we learn if we just took a moment to understand them? It really highlights that hidden engineering that underpins so much of our modern life. That is a great thought to end on. Thank you so much for breaking all that down for us today. My pleasure. Stay safe. And thank you all for joining us on this deep dive. We hope you feel more informed, maybe a little more empowered, and have a new appreciation for that little RCD. Until next time, keep exploring and stay safe.